So today is deliverance from satanic imprisonment. Deliverance from satanic cages. When the devil puts your destiny, your life, your finances, your health, your education, your purpose in prison. When the devil sees that you have a star and you can become something. They can bottle your destiny as young as you are. If you are not prayerful and you are not sensitive. Somebody will invoke curses and bottle up your destiny. And once they bottle that destiny. It could be financially, it could be your marriage, it could be your children, it could be your womb, your pregnancy, it could be your, your, your spouse, it could be something particular about your life. They have imprisoned it and you realize that you are not making any pro progress because anybody who is in prison, that they don't have the liberty, they are in captivity, they are in bondage, they are closely watched by uh, satanic um, tax masters or wardens they don't have the they are limited they are bound they are restrained they are constrained they are there are restrictions and they are enclosed with bad irons all around them and spiritually that's what the devil does against humanity and when he does that in the spirit he has placed a chain or a shackle or a handcuff or a padlock on your life and when such things happen my friend Brothers and sisters, you are going nowhere with your destiny. It could be your marriage. You blaming your husband or blaming your wife is not going to solve the problem. There is a satanic force behind the scene. Today, don't deal with the surface. Don't deal with just the superficially part of it. Don't just deal with the leaves. Tonight, we are going to the roots. We are going to the root. The demons and the witches and the sorceries and the principalities behind the very problems that you are going through. There is something that is behind your problem. And until you go deep into the root to address the very issues from the root, you, are, you, you will never go, you will never overcome that problem. And that's why we are going to deal with these things. There is something behind the scene that is preventing you from getting married. There is something behind the scene which is always allowing you to dream and see things fighting against you in your dreams. Or causing you to always have sex in your dreams. There is something behind the scene. There is something behind the scene. There is something behind the scene that is manipulating, controlling and influencing your husband not to be able to see you for who you truly are in order to love you and, and for there to be peace and harmony. There is somebody regulating your marriage until you go behind the scene to break yourself free from this satanic imprisonment and satanic bottles. You will never enjoy your liberty and progress and your freedom in that aspect of your life which is constrained but tonight god is merciful god is merciful for the bible makes us to understand that for this reason the son of man our lord jesus christ came that he may destroy he may destroy the works of the devil jesus christ came to bring deliverance and to set the captives free those in captivity has come that he may set you free tonight god has anointed us God has anointed me. He has anointed you that as you pray in faith in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in faith in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, every satanic prison, every satanic cage, anyone who has bottled your destiny, today we will smash the bottle. Today we will break the gates of the devil and you will come out and begin to fulfill your destiny. That's why some of us from January until now, we haven't really seen any great improvement because all along, Somebody somewhere has caged you, has placed you in a cage. When a bird is placed in a cage, no matter how far, how high the bird can fly, the bird is going nowhere because the cage, the bird is caged. But today your soul will escape as a bird out of the snares of the fowler. Your soul will escape as a bird out of the snares of the fowler. Hi, this is some quick announcement. Um, join us every Tuesdays and Fridays for the conference prayer on the prayer line. Every Tuesdays from 10 p.m. Eastern Time we meet. Eastern Time is 10 p.m. Um, Central Time is 9 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time is 8 p.m. and 
Pacific time is 7 p.m. We meet every Tuesday for prayers. So make sure you join us. A lot of people watch the prayers on YouTube. However, they don't know that we do meet live every Tuesdays and Fridays. So Tuesdays, we meet 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 7 p.m. Pacific Time. And on Friday, that's just for one hour on Tuesdays. We meet just for one hour on Tuesday, um, Tuesdays. However, on Friday, it's our deliverance, miracle, and healing prayers. So if you want deliverance, miracle, and healing, can join us on the conference call live on Fridays also, which is three hours. And we meet 11, uh, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Pacific Time. So on Fridays is our deliverance, healing, and miracle uh, prayers, and it's for three hours. So make sure you join us. I repeat again, Fridays is 11 p.m. We start at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 8 p.m. Pacific Time. So do join us, and the number you you have to call is five five nine seven two six one two zero zero five five nine seven two six one two zero zero and the access code is nine five zero zero one four pound nine five zero zero one four pound join us on Tuesdays and Fridays for prayers Tuesdays is one hour Fridays is three hours and you will be blessed also, if you are you want to join us through uh, and you are calling from outside of the United States, you can also call us. Use your Skype. The Skype, my Skype is K Boache, K A Y B O A C H I E, K A Y B O A C H I E. Skype is also a, an easy way if you are having a long distance call. You can use the Skype to have access to the live conference. Also, for those of you who, for some reason, cannot be on the phone, but you want to hear the live or the pre-recorded version of the prayers, you can now go to Blog Talk Radio and also watch us uh, or listen to the prayers. If you want to just listen to it and still do what you have to do, because some of you may be working and want to still hear what is going on, you can go to www blogtalkradio.com slash kweku and the kweku is k-w-a-k-u and the boache is b-o-a-c-h-i so www.blogtalkradio.com slash kweku boache k-w-a-k-u that's the kweku and the boache is b-o-a-c-h-i um, all this information if you want to get it you can email me at o o k a k u fifty five at yahoo dot com o o k a k u fifty five at yahoo dot com and I can send you this information or Facebook me on k k a y b and the last name is Boachi b o a c h i k Boachi k k a y b o a c h i e or you can call me and I'll give you the information on 443-975-5303. I'll, I will leave all this information at the end of this message. I'll write it down so that you can um, see it again. Also, you can check us on our website if you want more information about the things I've already given you. And our website is www freshfireprayer.com our website is www.freshfireprayer www.freshfireprayer.com and all this information are out there for you to get access to also for those of you who are living in Maryland, Virginia 
to Baltimore and close by um, from the year 2013, the first Sunday. We are now will be meeting regularly every Sunday, every Sunday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. for prayers. So it's called an, the Hour of Power Prayers, Hour of Power Prayers, and an intensive prayers. And you can come in and come in expecting anything because I believe that prayers covers all things. So if you want healing, deliverance, uh, restoration, miracles, if you want to be revived, you if you want to get yourself empowered in prayers, to get the presence of God to move in the next level with your relationship with Jesus Christ through prayers, join us every Sunday, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And the location is in uh, Walker Mills Baptist Church. Walker Mills Baptist Church. And the address is 6801 6801 Walker Mills Road the Walker is just walking Walker W A L K G R Walker Mills M I L L Road it is in Capital Heights Capital Heights C A P I T A L and the height is H E I G H T S Capital Height, Maryland, and the zip code is two zero four two zero seven four three two zero seven four three. So join us every Sunday up in the year two thousand and thirteen moving forward. Every Sunday four PM to six PM and the location is Walker Mills Baptist Church located in 68 Walker Mills Road, Capital Heights, Maryland, 20743. That is where we will be meeting. So join us and you will be immensely blessed. I also want to let you know that in the year 2013, we will be having three major meetings. And the first one, the first meeting will be held in February 15th to 17th and it's called the hour of power the hour of power with Jesus Christ you no know, meeting or conference or where we meet uh, and and everybody's open um, is welcome to join us it's more or less like a revival or a, I wouldn't say a revival with fresh fire ministry we believe in getting yourself revived every day so it is a time where we meet to have intensive fellowship on the, our first meeting god willing will be on february 5th february 15th to 17th from friday to sunday the monday is going to be a holiday and now I, I can say for certain that um, this meeting the first one um those of you having challenge with pregnancy come in and let's believe God because once you come in and we pray we we'll believe God that by the end of the year God will open up your womb it's also going to be a time for people who are singles and want to get settled come in it is it's for everybody it's for everybody but if you are if you find yourself with um, barrenness or you are looking for to settle maritally uh, I recommend you also come in and as we we do intensive prayers and also if you need if you want to go to the next level in your prayer life and in your relationship with jesus christ through prayers i will advise you to come because it will be a time for healing deliverance restoration of marriages we'll cover everything we'll cover everything but i advise i, I admonish singles and the barren also to make sure they show up so that they will be blessed but if you want to go to the next level in your ministry, uh, it's a non a, a fresh fire ministry, non denominational. So, if you are prophetess, you are pastor, you are apostle, whatever, and you want to go to the next level in your prayer life, I believe that an hour of power with Jesus Christ meeting will help you. That by the time you go back, you'll be carrying the power of God to go and revive 
and also take your ministry to the next level. So I welcome you February. And our meeting place, I believe, will be at Welcome Mills Baptist Church 6801. Welcome Mills Baptist Church. It is the address is 6801. Welcome Mills Road, Capital Height, MD 20743. The same location. You can find this information in our website, which is www.freshfireprayer.com. Www freshfireprayer.com so that you can know what's taking place and our next meeting will be on May Hour of Power whereby it's open to everybody Hour of Power with Jesus Christ the meetings the crusade or the conference is open to everybody uh, if you are even out of state the next one will be May 24th May to 26th 24th to 26th from Friday to Sunday and the Monday is holiday and also come in and you'll be blessed and the last one will be in October 11th to October 13th October 11th to October 13th and the Monday, uh, Friday to Sunday and the Monday is a holiday and for now all the meeting place I know for now is in the Walker Mills Baptist Church which is located in 68-6801-6801 Walker Mills Road Capital Heights Maryland 20743 For, uh, to make sure you, you know the date and the location is right make sure you frequent our uh, website to make sure that you update yourself and if you have any questions about these um, conferences and these crusades and uh, Call me on 443-973, let me repeat, 443-975-5303, 443-975-5303, call me and um, ask me about the, the details of these meetings and I'll let you know, or you can email me on OOKAKJU. 55 at yahoo.com o o k a k u 55 at yahoo.com or you can facebook me at k the first name is k k a y k a y the last name is watch b o a c h i e you can facebook me and ask me and if you are willing to come also send me an email and let me know you are coming or facebook that you are coming and we'll also let you know where to get accommodation it is free it is free but you have to be prepared to get a place to rent to sleep during the um, three days program and I tell you the truth you will not wait your coming to these programs because in the year 2013 we are moving into the deeps we are moving into the deeps and a lot of things will be happening in our in this time in this year and we have to hold on to God through faith and believe God. The Bible says that the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. And those who know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. The Bible says that on the face of the earth there shall be gross darkness. There shall be darkness on the face of the earth. But arise and shine for your light is come. So I believe these meetings are when we we'll call upon the name of the Lord to save us, to help us, to help us to be able to fulfill his purpose for us in the year also if you are interested in getting the book spiritual diagnosis which deals with helping you to diagnose some of the problems you are going through generational cases breaking jukes breaking yourself from the spirit of Leviathan or serpent you know, all these deliverance prayers and all those things you can order spiritual diagnosis some of you are going through so many problems and you don't even know where the problem is coming from spiritual diagnosis will help you to diagnose the problem you are going through and most of my prayers is the prayers we do on Fridays and Tuesdays is channeled on deliverance and spiritual diagnosis so if you get a book it will help you to diagnose to locate to discover what is really wrong with the foundations of your problem so that when you are praying you pray right many people are praying and are still in problem because they are not praying the right prayers 
or I'm not locating the right source of problem. You know, so buy the book, Spiritual Diagnosis. It's $10, but with shipping and everything, $15, and I'll send you the book. Um, if you want, you are interested in the Spiritual Diagnosis book, you can email me, ookakju55 at yahoo.com, and let me know, and I'll send you a copy. I'll let you know how you can pay for it. The email is ookakju55 kju55 at yahoo.com or you can facebook me at k k a y b o a c h i e k is the first name k a y the last name is boache b o a c h i e and i'll get you the information however make sure if you are in maryland virginia baltimore dc join us every sunday from in the year 2013 from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in Walker Mills Baptist Church 6801 Walker Mills Road Capital Heights Maryland 20743 that's the zip code 20743 I'll write all the information out there so that you can join us and you'll be blessed join us also on Tuesdays and Fridays and you'll be blessed and if you have a an emergency you can also give me a call on 443-975-5303 however if you call and you don't get me leave a message or call back try and call back we have a lot of people calling me and sometimes I'm not able to get hold on them on timely fashion but keep on calling and if you don't get me make sure you join us on Tuesdays and Fridays you always get me or if you are around the area join us on Fridays and you get me and then I can be of great help to you. But your main helper is our Lord Jesus Christ. Develop a life of prayer for yourself. The key to success in deliverance, in breakthrough, healing, and getting connected is consistency and persistence. You have to be consistent and you have to be, have a persistent, consistent prayer life. And then you can have victory over the enemy. I wish you all the best and I wish you the Lord's blessing. And may the Lord keep you. Remember Jesus Christ. Is on his way and it's coming soon he will take us by surprise nobody knows the day or the time is coming and his coming will interrupt with your schedule and my schedule so make sure that every single day of your life you are ready for Jesus if you don't know Jesus then this is the time for you to accept him into your life as your Lord and personal Savior so that you will not be left behind if you're a Christian this is the time for you to hold on tight to Jesus because he is coming. The days of hypocrisy, wishy washy, roller coaster Christianity is over. Make sure you worship him in truth and in spirit. And you separate yourself from the world. Separate yourself from your sins and with your things that are weighing you down. And walk with God. Without holiness, nobody can see God. This is a call for this end time. Our redemption door at night. And we have to lift up our heads. And wait patiently for the manifestation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Those who have Jesus will have life. Have life and have life much more abundantly. Those who have rejected Jesus Christ are already condemned. In this year that we are, have entered in 2013 moving forward, great tribulations lies ahead of the world. It will only take those who hold on to God who are going to survive. Those who depend on their own wisdom and intelligence and are ready claim Christians and the things of God they are going to be taken by, by surprise. Your help is in the Lord. So hold on tight to our Lord Jesus Christ. And he will help you. When you call upon him, he will answer you. But the Bible says that call upon the name of the Lord and you will be saved. Call, ask and it shall be given. Seek and it shall find knock and the door shall be opened unto you. So please, if you don't know Jesus, accept him today. If you know Christ, hold on to him and serve him. Read your Bible, meditate on it, obey the word, shun evil, live a holy life, and don't play hypocrisy Christianity. Let Jesus Christ tell you, I know you not, you workers of iniquity. And you say, Jesus, didn't I prophesy, didn't I preach in your name, didn't I sing, <coughs> didn't I give you tithe and offering? And he'll tell you, you workers of iniquities, even though you cast demons in my name, you are still living in sin. And you will... He will cut you into the lake of fire. Please don't let that be your portion. Don't let that be my portion. Let us worship God in truth and in spirit and live to magnify his name. Please. And keep the fire of the Holy Ghost burning through prayers and Bible studies and living right. May God bless you. Shalom.